What's going on guys? It is your boy Juan Luis back at it again with another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video. Okay, we are now playing Planet Namek, but to tell you to to be honest with you guys, um I am not only going to be showing you uh, Planet Namek, I will also be showing you guys an exploit that's happening at the time of recording this video to give you Zen, like 300,000 Zenny in like two minutes. It's, it's crazy. It's a crazy exploit. I've gotten all the characters that I could get so far because, you know, my player uh, level, I believe, is an eight. Um, and you get everything at 20. But uh, you could grind out some Zennies right now. And you could like, um, yeah, really get everything. Close up shop and still keep going. So I suggest everyone to lower down the difficulty um, for this particular grind, which I will be showing later on. And um, just exploit the crap out of this um, until they patch it, because they will patch it, guys. They are going to patch it. This isn't going to last. So be wary and use your time wisely and just grind this out, man. Um, anyways, get rich into the game. Hope you guys are enjoying this game. Let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying this game, if you're not, if it's disappointing, if if it's meeting your expectations or exceeding it. Let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And hit the notification button, guys. Alright, let's get into this. Okay, here I am fighting Raccoon. To be specific, though, I'm fighting all of the Ginyu squad. Uh, difficulty is at normal. I have gotten a bit better, but I'm still... Uh, I'm realizing this is a defensive game, right? This is not a game that you could solely just go on offense and mass, smash buttons and win or lose, right? You have to defensively, consistently be... Um, on the defense, and then throw back the, those attacks at your opponent. So, uh, with that being said, guys, always remember that you have to learn how to defend. And this is something that I, I didn't know early on. <laughs> so, let's get into it. We're fighting J Jace. Jace! Sure, you guys remember him from the Breakers. I know I sure as hell do. <laughs> oh man, fighting these guys, man, the the um the villains. I mean, it just brings me back to the Breakers. I know it hasn't been that long, but it, uh, something about it, you know, Breakers is always gonna have a place in my heart, bro. This is the, the Breakers is the reason why I started this YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel to begin with. Um, and yeah, I, I just, it's always going to have a place in my heart. Hope it, hopefully the community keeps it alive, but it's, it's on life support right now, <laughs> especially now that Sparking Zero is out. But, um, back to Sparking Zero, I'm doing pretty good, <laughs> by the way. I'm like defending crazy, um, but I, I I'm... I'm making this mistake where I keep using the KO can rush because I want to show you guys what the animation looks like. Um, but um, yeah, I, I just can't land it. Um, I have to when you, if you do want to do a KO can rush or any type of rush, try to do it with a combo. Um, that's the best way you could do it. I should have followed that up, but I think I land this. Do I land it? I think I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was right behind him, right? So I kind of um, took advantage of that, of that, and used the spirit bomb, which, um, yeah, that that took away a lot, right? Awesome animation, and I, I just was like, dude, what are you doing right now? <laughs> Jice is not um, putting up. A fight at all to <laughs> like this is an easy W for me, but I got a little careless, a little cocky here. Um, but nonetheless, I'm gonna finish him off right there. <laughs> Those dashes are very important, guys. Use them, use them to your advantage, which is um, on my I'm doing standard controls. 
um, on my end is X and square at the same time. Um, takes up a little bit of key, but you know, it does well. Goku swiftly overpowers two members of the Ginyu Force. Another manages to escape, but Goku has more than demonstrated the fruits of his training. He hears about the Dragon Balls from Gohan and the others, but before they can uh, take action, Goku senses a strong key headed in the direction of Guru. Goku tells the others to head straight for the Dragon Balls. While he readies himself once more, it is time for him to fight Captain so, Ginyu, I believe. <laughs> His power level is only around 5,000. That's him, Captain. Don't be fooled. This freak's way stronger than that. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? But that can't be. This guy's just a puny Saiyan. It's not unheard of. He could have a natural talent, or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. To think I'd find an opponent that I can finally demonstrate my full power on. So, are we gonna dance or fight? Alright, so, after that being said, I fight Captain Ginyu, which he starts off really, really aggressive. Like, damn, bro. You can give me a chance to breathe. What the hell? So I charge up my key, and um, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to beat the crap out of you now, bro. That I, I did not like that disrespect in the beginning. <laughs> so, um, yeah. He misses that, and, but he follows it up with a kick, honestly, and then I just start going ham on him because yeah he pissed me off in the beginning he's not hard really and um he's one of these opponents that you don't necessarily have to be all the way if i remember correctly um he eventually once you get his hp to a certain amount he will um just end the match so there's not too much pressure going into this fight. Of course, I didn't know this <laughs> um, going into the fight. But yeah, see, like I would say about halfway through his health and he just like calls it quits and takes over Goku's body. I wonder if there's a variant, right, for uh, to have Captain Ginyu as Goku. There probably is. I don't know. I haven't really looked at the store. So. <laughs> Again, reference to Dragon Ball the Breakers. <laughs> Suddenly, Captain Ginyu begins chuckling. Then he lets out a defeating scream. In doing so, he triggers a technique that enables him to switch bodies with Goku. Now, in control of Goku's body, Captain Ginyu heads... Uh, to his spaceship with the super something, I don't know. <laughs> Goku makes a desperate chase after them, but is hindered, trapped in Captain Ginyu's injured body. Guys, listen! That's not uh, me. Guys, listen, that's not me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the others arrive to find Goku battling his own body. Unknown to everyone, Vegeta has his own plans for Ginyu, but first... <laughs> oh man. Vegeta, why? They couldn't even defend themselves. Shut up. You're too soft hearted, Kakarot. It's kill or be killed. After finishing off Birder, Vegeta shifts his attention to Ginyu, who has taken over Goku's body. Vegeta was so brutal. Now it's time to finish the job. Rah! <laughs> <laughs> Change now! Please let this work. What? Oh no! 
Goku rushes to intercept Ginyu's body change technique and is able to reclaim his own body just in the nick of time. Bastard! How dare you! You ruined everything! I'm back to being me again! What, what the hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh body and quick. Hmm. Yours will do, Vegeta. They should do a what if episode. Like, if Ginyu succeeds and takes over Vegeta's body. How cool would that be? That'd be an interesting what if. Suspecting Ginyu's plan, Goku throws a frog. <laughs> All right. Uh, thwarted, Captain Ginyu is now trapped inside a frog and Goku is saved. Goku is then put inside the medical machine to recover. However, he can sense Vegeta and the others fighting nearby. Now get ready. Meanwhile, Vegeta and the others sense immense power coming from their opponent, one that far exceeds their own. Just as he marveling at just as he's marveling at Frieza's strength, Goku's treatment finishes and is fully healed. I'm on my way, guys. Okay. When Goku arrives at the raging battle, Vegeta is moments away from death by Frieza's hands. Please beat him for me, for the pride of our race. You must defeat him. I don't know why, as a kid, I found this scene extremely sad. Like, just, you know, Vegeta begging Goku for help. Like, yeah. I can only imagine how I always found that scene very emotional for me as a kid. Um, and even as an adult, you know, like, um, the fact that he had to swallow his pride and his ego and beg Goku for this, you know, like... You could just feel the, the, the pain that he went through as a kid and as an adult. Yeah. In the name of every single sand that you've made it's one thing I like about Dragon Ball, you know, characters aren't so black and white. There's grays and all sorts of colors in between them. There's no good and evil. Except for Frieza. Frieza's just evil. <laughs> but yeah, there is, uh, for the most part, not in a, a, villains aren't always 100% villains. They're, they have motives, right? Oh, man. Except for Frieza. Frieza's just... I don't know, man. He's just a really bad dude. Here I messed up on these uh, <laughs> quick time um, quick time actions. Like, I, I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> so, um, yeah. They, they caught me off guard there. And I paid the price for it a little bit. So... So I don't know how that didn't land, if I'm going to be honest with you. I think a cliff saved me, but I don't think it was supposed to save me, but it, just, it did. So, hey, I'll take it. I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't know how I land, how I did that move. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I just did it. But, um, yeah, I, I need to hit the training. <clears throat> sorry, the practice mode. But if I'm I'll be honest with you guys, I, I hate doing that. I hate. I hate it when like I'm playing a new fighting game or whatnot and I have to go into practice mode. I just hate doing that. I just like to just learn as I go, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I'm like back in school going to practice mode, having to like do a study guide and stuff like that. Like I just yeah, no. It's not for me, but I feel like uh, for certain games you have to do it. Like I also play Tekken, so you have to do it for Tekken, Street Fighter. You know, if you want to have a competitive edge, at least. 
or if you just want to get a little better at the game, it's always good to do some of the um, some of the practice. Do some training, sorry. But I may have to do a little bit of training here. He he lands this 100%. There's no way you could block that. So uh, my health is pretty much almost gone. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't remember how I clutched this up, bro. Like, <laughs> oh, I remember now. Okay, so the goal in this match is to hit, land a spirit bomb. There you go. So like I'm like all right let's see if if the cannon works here so like yeah I I there you go he just gotta land the spirit bomb bro <laughs> so <laughs> once he lands the spirit bomb the match is over um, I did a whole bunch of extra stuff technically for no reason but you know what it was fun man so who cares and it made for some good content right like I I got a few licks in there pretty damn good so. Goku Spear Bomb has finally brought an end to the long, hard-fought battle. At last, our heroes can rest. No, oh, sorry. Krillin. <laughs> oh, man. This part as a kid right here. This part killed me too, man. The Frieza arc was just an emotional train wreck for me as a kid. <laughs> yeah. No, Frieza! Don't do it! And Frieza kills Dende and stuff. Like, dude, come on, man. That's a kid. What are you doing? Frieza was wild, bro. I think the brat should go next. You. You. Ruthless. Yep. Those are the right words, Goku. That is exactly what he is. All right, so coming up is the grind. It's the, the Zenny grind I was telling you about. This is the exploit. At the time of recording this, you could still do this, right? So, you have to beat Frieza and Super Saiyan Goku, right? You're going to get an item the first time you fight him and, and win, of course. You have to win the match. Once you get that item and you win the match, replay the mi the, the mission. Uh, um, I suggest an easy mode, but you can do it in whatever uh, difficulty that you may like. Uh, but I suggest just do it in easy mode. Um, I have it in normal because normal is still easy for me. But um, if you're having a hard time, just do easy. And you just uh, replay it because... Um, since this, uh, story right here gives you an item, you will then, um, when you beat him again, you will get that same item. But since you already have it, it will be replaced with 300,000 Zenny. 300,000. That is insane because this match is very short. Like, it's like two minutes three minutes tops you know you hit him with a few uh, uh sparking zero um mega attacks or whatever and he's done and that's an easy 300,000 zenny right there so guys take advantage take advantage that this is still going on and um yeah get rich in this game because with all the dlcs and all that other stuff we're gonna need all this uh zenny you know what i'm saying and things aren't cheap in this game <laughs> Frieza, just know the only reason i'm letting you reach full power is because i want to beat you at your best. sorry if i was speaking no over the cutscene but i know you want the same thing had to, to see what your had to let you guys know before they patch this up you would have blown up the whole planet by now Okay, so with that being said, we got the second part of this. Um, like I said, put this in a lower difficulty um, when you're going to do the Zenny grind because, uh, yeah, this is um, it's a little bit harder than normal. He does these uh, destructo discs. Uh, his little death disc, I, I, don't, I don't know what the actual name is for, for them, but um, he uses those, and um, when he's in easy mode, he doesn't use them, so it makes it a lot easier. You hit him with a few ultimates, and um, he goes down. 
I suggest though, like when you use the sparking um, ability, hit him with the melee a few times and then um, get him with the Kamehameha and you should be okay. Now, I'm doing it right now in normal mode because um, this is my first time doing it. This isn't um, me doing the grind just yet. Uh, so this is my first time doing it. I will show you the item that I get. I believe it's an outfit. You get an outfit. And then afterwards, that outfit gets converted to 300,000 zenny. So I can't emphasize enough, guys. Uh, at the time of recording this, we're good. But, like, I don't know, a week from now, I don't see this still being here, you know? They're going to catch on, and they're going to patch it up, and, uh, yeah, we're going to be disappointed for the people that don't do it. Those uh, little discs that he throws are extremely annoying. They have very good um, tracking. Uh, they're unblockable, so you have to uh, dodge it. I believe the best way to do it is just get close to Frieza, and at least one of them should leave you alone. You might take one hit, but... Um, the other one tends to, like, run off. And I don't know how I didn't land this. I, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I should have landed that. Uh, but, okay. Whatever. Let's see. I, I, I'm very... I really want to see what that looks like. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to show that off so much. Um, I don't know if I get it off or not. But I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let me just stop goofing around. Because the first time I did it, I almost beat... Uh, Frieza and yeah, he um, he, he I got too cocky and he beat me, so I can't get too cocky, so I have to, yeah, use my spark. You see, just like that, you just spam the melee on him when you have him on easy mode, and then you hit him uh, with the that was an amazing dodge, by the way, that was some Dragon Ball Z dodge right there and then you hit him with this <laughs> i think i kill him here which was the most epic way after that dodge right bam kill him so let's look at the item should be on the right side uh i believe it was goku's mid outfit yeah goku z mid outfit you get that and you continuously get it and it gets converted to zenny for um and you get three hundred thousand zenny so you get a decent amount of Zenny guys for like a very short fight, especially if it's an easy mode. It's an easy win. Anyways, guys, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Be safe out there. Peace. I am Lord Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why. Which is why you must die by my hand. You fool! Thank you.